We are hardwired to favor the good and punish the bad. Hi, I'm DJ from Rainbow Dragon Digital, and in today's video, I want to go through a little excerpt from this book I've been reading and explain how that might help you uh, help define your, your USP in a way that uh, your target person might care about. If you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell, you'll be the first to uh, hear when I release new videos, and it'll help me out loads with my YouTube cred. So, I've been reading this book, The Science of Storytelling by Will Storr, and I wanted to read out a little bit from it and um, explain how this might be really helpful in when you're defining your USP. So there's a little bit here that goes, um, we're wired to find selfless behavior, her heroic and selfish deeds evil. Selflessness is thought to be the universal basis of all human morality. An analysis of ethnographic accounts of ethics in 60 worldwide groups found they shared these rules. Return favors, be courageous, help your group, respect authority, Love your family, never steal, and, and, and be fair. All are a variation on don't put your own selfless, selfish interests before that of the tribe. Okay, and, and he says here that um, even pre-verbal babies show approval of self, selfless behavior. Researchers showed six to 10 month old infants, a simple puppet show, in which a goody square selflessly helps a ball up the hill while a baddie triangle tries to force it down. When offered the puppets to play with, almost all the children chose the selfless square. Psychologist Professor Paul Bloom writes that these were bona fide social judgments on the part of the babies. Now, later on in the, in the in that same little section, he writes that um, just as just as our storytelling brains are wired to valorize pro-social behavior, we're designed to love watching the antisocial suffer the pain of tribal comeuppance. These darker instincts are also evident in children. Another psychologist puppet show starred an evil, thieving puppet who was struggling to open a box. A second puppet tried to help the villain, while a third puppet, the Punisher, jumped on the lid, slamming it shut. Even eight months olds preferred to play with the Punisher. Brain scans reveal that the mere anticipation of a selfish person being punished is experienced as pleasurable. So, so what are we taking away from this, right? So, so, and, and what does this have to do with marketing in your business? So, what I'm taking away from this, these, these two experiments shows that um, the things that we respond to, the things that we were hardwired to want, people we want to play with, are the ones who are either helping other people and, and not being selfish, or the ones that are punishing those who are being selfish, right? We, we favor both those types of people. And if our brains, if our human brains are wired that way, then this is really important for you to consider if you're, um, when, when, you're, when you're building your USP. Because your, your goal when you're building your USP is to make sure that people want to play with you, right? They want to buy, buy your product. They want to buy your services. You want to get people to play with you. And so to get people to play with you, you either need to uh, show them that you are selfless, that you are putting um, the world's, the, the tribe's interests over your own, or you need to show them that you're punishing someone who isn't putting um, the the tribe's interests ahead of their own. So, so that's something to consider. If you're if you're if you're thinking about your USP, you've you've thought through your your um, target persons, wants, needs, fears, and frustrations. Maybe you can also think about and um, what is who is their tribe, and how can you show yourself as being um, a hero in that tribe? How can you show yourself as someone who is helping that tribe uh, to succeed or who is um, preventing other people from damaging that tribe to succeed? What do you think about this? I'm, I'm really interested. I feel like this is a, this, this walks on some um, ethical boundaries. And um, I'd love to hear if you have any comments about, about 
how that how that part of our brain works and um, whether it's right or not to include that in our marketing.